Get ready to go on a 5,000 mile journey and take a peek into what luxury real estate means from coast to coast. Whether you're looking for a piece of paradise on the East Coast or a tranquil escape off the West Coast, we've got a lot of land to cover and a little something for every luxury buyer. From sea to shining sea, literally, this is Mansion Global. Mansion Global is kicking it off on the East Coast. We're in the Sunshine State and on the water. Then we're heading across the sea to the beautiful Aloha State for a coastal masterpiece. Even before the pandemic, Miami was attracting luxury buyers from across the world. The U.S. Census Bureau reported Florida gained more than 2.7 million residents since the last once in a decade headcount in 2010. And this is what's attracting buyers. You can live easier and larger right here in Florida. List prices are up over 30% since 2021 and inventory is down about the same. But that's not to say that there aren't a few coastal masterpieces to be found. Your class on the East Coast in Coral Gables. Welcome to 585 Arvida Parkway. With six bedrooms, eight baths, and over 9,000 square feet, this property is what you can expect from Miami's one-of-a-kind luxury market. And it'll cost you $24,995,000. Judy Zeter is the agent. I want to talk about your area of expertise, which is South Florida, specifically the coast. Why is everyone moving here? Why wouldn't you move to South Florida? <laughs> Miami is very unique because it's the only tropical area in the whole continental United States. It is beautifully located with beaches, water, sand, wonderful restaurants, great walking areas, biking, hiking. It offers everything. You have the ocean on one side, the bay in the middle and the Everglades on the other, which is also fantastic. The sun is always shining and you can live outside 365 days a year. There's a lot of access to the Atlantic Ocean if we look down the entirety yes. of the East Coast, but people are coming to South Florida, specifically to Coral Gables, because they want this certain level of luxury. They have Coral Gables on their lips for a lot of reasons. First of all, it is centrally located in Miami. People love to come to this area because you have direct ocean and bay access. When you go out and you walk down those stairs and your water is there and your dock is there and you know you can get on your boat and leave at any time, that is a selling spot. For 24-9, you're getting that access to the water. What is the value like for this house? So to have a house that's on an acre in a gated community where there's only 170 homes, 160 of them being on the water, it is a major asset because people who are coming here want their boat. They want their boat in the backyard <laughs> and this has a 180 foot dock and you can be on the bay within three minutes. Three minutes? Three minutes, yes. Oh. Out of all of the homes in Gables Estates, how does this one compare? There are very few homes that look like this in Gables Estate. This one's very unique because it sort of has a Dutch and island feel to it. When you walk into this home, it's extremely impressive because you walk right into these high vaulted, beautiful ceiling, all mahogany doors and moldings throughout the house. And the rest of the house has this fantastic inlaid marble floors. All the rooms are grand in the entire house. And it really gives you a feeling of intimacy, yet being on this grand scale. It is a very desirable property in a limited market with real estate. I can't wait to check out every inch of this house and then eventually make my way to the water. Thank you for having me. 585 Arvida Parkway is split between two levels. Upstairs has some of the home's bedrooms, but down on the main level, you've got multiple entertaining spaces and this statement entry.
An over two-story foyer and entryway, so grand. Love an entry table. Imagine a huge arrangement there or an artifact. Green, off-white, and orange marble interwoven into this area, simulating a chess or checkerboard, not as many spaces, but then the Greek key lining the hallway. A lot to see all these other directions. There's a lot to see indeed. Marrying Dutch and island influences, you cannot keep your eyes off all the mahogany details. Across the foyer, you enter a lucky room for a lucky buyer with views looking right out over the bay. The great room is equipped with two staircases and two giant chandeliers, a gold hue to them, so beautiful. But I wanna talk about the staircases. When have you seen the reverse dual staircase? Usually the U wraps around towards the front door. In here, it wraps around the great room towards the back of the house, almost like a warm hug, a warm embrace. Now you'll see that green marble that we saw from the foyer carried in here and all the way up those stairs. It's called Connemara marble, and the Irish believed that it brought good luck. They called it the lucky stone, and they wore it into battle because they thought it would bring them good fortune. The great room flows right into this crisp, state-of-the-art chef's kitchen filled with top-of-the-line appliances. And if you need more space for dining, you've got options. This room right here is really cool. Between the kitchen and the formal dining, you have informal dining and informal living. You could also set it up as a staging zone, kids table at Thanksgiving, but you can shut this off. So if you do have staff in the kitchen, they can be running through here setting up the formal dining room, which is so beautiful. You have that Greek key again, lining it, bordering it almost like a rug. Lots of space in here, room to expand. And look at this. Connemara marble, like we saw on the floor, it's all throughout the home, but these fireplaces are almost dueling. You can see the one in the media room all the way through the great room, which has a really nice bookend touch. Mahogany French doors connect you to the opposite wing of the main level, where there's plenty of room for escaping the scorching sun, or your guests, because let's face it, you'll have a lot of them with this house. You need a room where you can just relax. You're away from everything, and this is tucked on the side of the house. This room currently set up as a media room, begging you to take a nap, watch a game, but it's really versatile. You can use this space for whatever it is you want. But it also doubles as a poker room, a bar, maybe a place to just curl up, read a good book, turn the fireplace on, and chill. Options are yours. The final stop on the main level is a fully outfitted mahogany office built to show off your most prized possessions. You can't go through a house with something like this and not stop and take a pause here. He's been sleeping for a while, but after the break, we're gonna show you where you're gonna be sleeping.